Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as 1, 2, 3. Through this video, we are going to have a quick recap of what is Ohm's law, which is meant for students of class 10th. Ohm's law is a law which regulates the flow of electric current in a circuit and it gives a relation between voltage, current and resistance. So before we go to the statement of Ohm's law, let's see what are the meanings of these terms, voltage, resistance and current. Voltage, it's nothing but the energy required to move a charge from one point to another point. We can use the symbol V to represent voltage. In SI system, voltage can be measured by using the unit volt. For volt also, we will be using the symbol V. So if suppose something is written like voltage equal to 25V, you can read it as voltage equal to 25 volt. The measuring instrument used to measure voltage is voltmeter. Voltage is otherwise known as electric potential difference. Now, what is resistance? Resistance is nothing but the hindrance or the opposition offered against the flow of charge through a metallic conductor. We will be using the symbol R to represent resistance and it can be measured in the units ohms. We will be using the symbol omega to represent ohms. The third term is current. Electric current is the rate at which the charge flows. The representation of electric current is I. It can be measured in amperes. We'll be using the symbol capital A to represent ampere. We can use the measuring device ammeter to measure current. Hope you remember the measuring device to measure voltage is voltmeter and the measuring device which can be used to measure current is ammeter. Now we came to know what is resistance, what is voltage and what is current. Let's come to the definition or the statement of Ohm's law. The current in a circuit is directly proportional to the electric potential difference and is inversely proportional to the total resistance offered by the external circuit. Once again, that is the current in a circuit I is directly proportional to voltage, which means if voltage increases, current will also increase. If voltage decreases, current will decrease. Whereas in terms of resistance, we can say current and resistance are inversely proportional. That is more the resistance, less will be the current or lesser the resistance, more will be the current. Mathematical expression for Ohm's law is V is equal to I into R. Formula triangles are easy way of remembering the mathematical equations, right? So by using this formula triangle, you can think or you can identify that I is equal to V by R or if V and I is given, you can find out resistance by using the formula R is equal to V by I. Hope you understood what is Ohm's law. It is a very simple concept. It relates potential difference, current and resistance. Mathematical expression is V is equal to I into R. You can see a stimulus in order to understand Ohm's law better. Let me show you what is a stimulus for that. See in this you can see if I keep the resistance constant and increase the potential difference, you can see the current is also increasing, right? If I keep on decreasing the voltage, the value of the current, you can see the value of current is decreasing here from 5.9 milliampere, it is coming to five, it is coming down again to 3.3, .3, which means potential and current are directly proportional, right? Or if I keep the voltage constant, let us see, when resistance decreases, what happens to current? We studied that resistance and current are inversely proportional. So when resistance decreases, the value of current will increase. Right? Or the vice versa. If the resistance increases, the value of current will 
degrees. Hope the concept of Ohm's law is very clear to all of you. It is a very simple relation connecting potential difference, current and resistance. V is equal to IR. Even though it's a very simple relation, it plays an important role in the field of electricity. This is one basic definition and basic formula which we will be using in higher classes also. Hope you enjoyed learning Ohm's law and the mathematical expression for Ohm's law. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day ahead to all of you.